Hello, Michael here from Small Robot Studio with another Houdini tutorial. Today we're going to be having a look at how to distribute points across a plane using a density map that you either create using a predefined uh, texture or with um, random noise. So the first thing we're going to do is create a geometry node, dive in there and we'll just create a grid. Next we'll create an attribute VOP and connect the grid up to the first input or input zero. Dive in there and then we'll create some noise using the unified noise uh, node and we will connect the position output to the position input from our global node into the unified noise. Next we'll create a bind export and we'll run our noise into the input of the bind export and we'll change our parameter to be density. So now we can scatter some points across the surface and we'll change the total count to be 5000 and we will select density attribute and assign it to density and now when we go back into our noise we can change to different types of noise and see our points be distributed based on that. So we can make some um, adjustments on the next level up. We'll also add a fit node in here and we'll uh, middle mouse and promote each parameter. And then for a little bit of extra control, we could actually add in a ramp parameter and change this to be a spline ramp. And then when you go back up, just make sure that you change it to be a linear curve again. And then you can adjust the density using this very simply we'll just keep it at its default for now now let's assign some um, geometry to our points so I'll turn off the points for now we'll use a copy to points and put the points on the right hand side and we'll just create a box and then put that on the left hand side so we get a lot of boxes so you can scale the boxes down in the uniform scale. Um, so you can see them like so. But we could also change the P scale um, by using the density as well. So why don't we just have another bind export and we'll try this one to be P scale. Now if you don't want your P scale to be um, driven by the uh, by that um, noise, you don't have to obviously, but it uh, can be kind of useful. Or you could have it assigned to a separate ramp if you wish, which actually I might do here. So we'll just rename this to overall scale. And we'll create another ramp and run it into this P scale output. And change this one to be P scale. So now you can see in our denser areas, we're starting to see um, larger cubes, and in our less dense areas, we've got much smaller cubes. We can adjust our P scale using our ramp, like so, or if you do want to be able to adjust the uh, maximum size further, you could add in another fit and uh, increase it to be over like that. Now you could assign these cubes to a sphere. Let's make sure you change that to a polygon mesh. Sign it in and you'll see that you get the noise. However, um, the orientation of all our cubes is the same direction. So we can just add in a normal after our sphere. And then we get that. So you can get some pretty cool effects when you do things like that just by adjusting your ramps, etc. Now if you wanted to use an image for your um, distribution, we'll just go back to a poly plan so it's a little bit easier to see. Uh, what we can do is we can do it a number of ways. We can either um, do the density by a CD, so I could Let's grab an attribute from map node and put that after the grid. And 
we will grab a texture um, and increasing the resolution of no sorry blah, blah. and increasing the resolution of our grid so we'll make that 200 by 200 so now we can see the word hello which is upside down we'll roll with that I could probably reverse this to be minus 90 and then uh, see the scatter and then the points and then you can still use your p-scale to affect those and um, I put a little bit of Gaussian blur on the word so you'll see that it tapers off inside size towards the um, edge now if you didn't want to call this um, CD because you wanted to use color attribute that was going to be called something else you could call it something else uh, we'll just call it something here and then change our density attribute to be something there and there you go so now you're free to use your CD attribute for whatever you wish if you're using color to be exported to a material um, for rendering okay so here's another scene that I've created as you can see I've got my uh, cubes distributed across there if we're wanting to add materials and color to this we can do a couple of this a couple of different ways um, I've UV'd the plane um, like I did previously um, and what we can do is if we assign a material to it as you normally would in your material uh, in your for your renderer um, you can grab a texture sampler like I have here this one is just a um, 2k texture map with a random sort of texture assigned to it so um, it will give us this sort of result so you see there that every cube has ended up with a, a different color we could also use a color data uh, input which is just um, if you type in user color you get one of those and we can sample the CD color and assign that to our diffuse input which would assume that there is a CD color in here now currently there isn't so what we can do is add an attribute map and why that in there and then select a texture and what this is going to do is pass the texture information onto the CD attribute which will then be assigned to the points so we can jump into the material editor make sure that your input data is assigned to CD and redshift it's using the user color data if you're using renderman it is a PXR primvar and there you go you can see that we're getting different texture or different colors assigned to our um, cubes so those are two different ways that you can assign colors and materials uh, to your geometry that's it for this tutorial if you found it useful make sure you leave a like so other people can find it and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe as we're bringing out cg and illustration tutorials every week just like this one become a patron and access tutorial assets bonus content a private discord and more by clicking the link below